Hello everyone. Today we will discuss midbrain. Today we will discuss midbrain. So the midbrain is also called as mesencephalon. Is also called as mesencephalon. Midbrain is also called as a mesencephalon. It is a presenting. So the midbrain is presenting on the it is present it is located it is located between hypothalamus hypothalamus of the forebrain it is located from the hypothalamus of the forebrain and it is located between the hypothalamus of the forebrain and pons pons varoli of the midbrain pons varoli of the hindbrain hindbrain pons varoli of the hindbrain so the midbrain is presenting on the between the hypothalamus and pons varoli hypothalamus is the forebrain so the pons varoli is the hindbrain so the midbrain located between the hypothalamus of the forebrain and pons varoli of the midbrain hindbrain pons varoli of the hindbrain see the diagram Just rough diagram. So these are the brain diagram. So the so in this region, so this region, so in this region, so this region is called as a midbrain. In this region is called as a midbrain. So this midbrain is presenting on the uh, below the hypothalamus. In this region is called as hypothalamus. So these are the hypothalamus. So these are the Pons varoli. So these are the pons varoli. So the midbrain is presenting on the located. The midbrain is located between the hypothalamus of the forebrain and the pons varoli of the hindbrain. So the presenting on the midbrain. Presenting on the midbrain. Next one. So the ventral side of the midbrain. Ventral side of the midbrain. Ventral side of the midbrain. Contain two longitudinal bands. Two longitudinal bands of 
nervous tissue is called crura cerebri is called as crura cerebri is called as crura cerebri so the a ventral side of the ventral side of the so ventral side of the midbrain ventral side of the midbrain contain a two longitudinal bands ventral side of the midbrain contain a two longitudinal bands these two longitudinal bands is called as crura cerebri is called as crura cerebri so in this crura cerebri function so in this crura cerebri crura cerebri crura cerebri connection connection two cerebral hemispheres connection two cerebral two cerebral hemisphere with pons varoli connection between the pons varoli so these are the midbrain so the midbrain the ventral side see the diagram just rough diagrams so these are the left to cerebral hemisphere left to cerebellar cerebral hemisphere so they are the right cerebral hemisphere left cerebral hemisphere right cerebral hemispheres these two cerebral hemispheres so they are connecting from the longitudinal bands two longitudinal bands two longitudinal bands internally connected by the two longitudinal bands so these bands connecting from the pons varoli two bands connecting from the pons varoli so these are the one longitudinal band so they are the another longitudinal band so these two bands connecting from the pons varoli so these are the pons varoli pons varoli so these are the cerebral hemispheres so these are these two longitudinal bands these two longitudinal bands is called as crura cerebri crura cerebri so this crura cerebri ventral side of the brain so the ventral side of the brain they contain a two longitudinal bands ventral side of the brain contain a ventral side of the midbrain contain a two longitudinal bands these two longitudinal bands is called as crura cerebri so this crura cerebri connection from the two cerebral hemisphere with the pons varoli two cerebral hemisphere connecting with the pons varoli so they are the crura cerebri crura cerebri next one a dorsal side next one dorsal side of the dorsal side of the midbrain dorsal side of the midbrain contain four rounded structures four rounded structures is called four rounded structures is called corpora quadrigemina is called corpora quadrigemina corpora quadrigemina corpora quadrigemina the four rounded structures is called as corpora quadrigemina is also called as optic lobes optic lobes is called as optic lobes corpora quadrigemina is also called as optic lobes is called as optic lobes so that these four lobes 
so they are the uh, midbrain so the midbrain contain a a dorsal side presenting on the four optic lobes is called as corpora quadrigemina corpora quadrigemina so the upper two lobes are a larger in size upper two lobes are the larger in size lower two lobes are the small in size lower two lobes are called small in size so the upper two lobes are called as superior colliculi upper two lobes are called are called superior colliculi superior colliculi upper two lobes are called superior colliculi so the upper two lobes are called a superior colliculi so these upper two lobes so they are the upper two lobes so these upper two lobes are called a superior colliculi upper two lobes are called a superior superior colliculi superior colliculi next one inner two lobes are called as inferior colliculi inner two lobes are called as inner two lobes are called inferior colliculi inferior colliculi upper two lobes are called as superior colliculi inferior two lobes are called as uh, uh, lower two lobes are called as inferior colliculi these two lobes are called as inferior colliculi inferior colliculi superior colliculi and inferior colliculi so the dorsal side of the uh, midbrain dorsal side of the midbrain contain a four lobes the midbrain the dorsal side contain a four rounded structures is called as corpora quadrigemina is called as corpora quadrigemina is also called as optic lobes is also called as optic lobes so the upper two lobes are larger in size upper two lobes are larger in size so these are called as superior colliculi is called as superior colliculi so the lower two lobes are called as small in structure so these are called as inferior colliculi is called inferior colliculi superior colliculi and inferior colliculi so the superior colliculi function so these are the superior colliculi function so they are the vision results from the vision results from the vision function so next one inferior colliculi functioning is the auditory function that is the auditory function so the upper two lobes functioning is the vision function so they are the vision function vision function so they are the uh, inferior two lobes are the auditory auditory function so they are the uh, midbrain so they are the midbrain once revised so the midbrain so the midbrain is also called as a mesencephalon midbrain is also called as a mesencephalon midbrain is also called as mesencephalon so the midbrain is located from the uh, midbrain is location between the hypothalamus of the forebrain and pons varoli of the hindbrain so their location between the hypothalamus of the forebrain pons varoli of the hindbrain so they are presenting on the midbrain next one so the midbrain the ventral side contain a two longitudinal bands the midbrain as the ventral side contain a two longitudinal bands so these two longitudinal bands is called as crura cerebri the two longitudinal bands is called as crura cerebri so this crura cerebri functioning is a connection between the cerebral hemisphere and pons varoli this crura cerebri connection from the cerebral hemisphere with pons varoli cerebral hemisphere with pons varoli next one the dorsal side of the midbrain the dorsal side of the midbrain contain a four rounded structures four rounded structures so these four rounded structures is called as crura cerebri is called as crura sorry corpora quadrigemina the four lobes are called as corpora quadrigemina so the upper two lobes are the larger in size upper two lobes are larger in size lower two lobes are small in size so the upper two lobes is called as superior colliculi upper two lobes are called as superior colliculi so the lower two lobes are called as inferior colliculi so the superior colliculi function is a vision these are helps from the they are functioning is a vision function so the inferior two small lobes is called as inferior colliculi so this functioning is the auditory function this functioning is auditory 
function so these are the midbrain so these are the midbrain